Hello, my name is James Julian, and I'm the product specialist for wireless tools. And today we're going to show you how to update the firmware on our new low reaction tool models. The first thing you'll need to get started is the tool, a fully charged battery, a T10 torque screwdriver, and a micro USB cable. And let's go ahead and get started. So once the tool is connected to Tools Talk Service 2, you will see it populate in the list here, and we can connect to it. This process is pretty quick, takes about 10 to 15 seconds. Now we're able to see all the tool's information, ordering number, serial number, manufacturer date, but our interest here is the software version, which as you can see is 1.2.3 and we're going to be upgrading that. Now we can disconnect the tool from Tools Talk Service 2 by right clicking and selecting disconnect. Once the tool is disconnected we can remove the micro USB cable from the tool, remove the battery from the tool, and then remove the RBU micro SD card and insert it into your computer. If your computer does not have a micro SD slot, you will need an adapter, either to standard SD or USB. Once it's inserted into your computer, you'll see it pop up. Note the drive letter is D. It may be different on yours, so pay attention. And you will see here, if you click the SD card icon, it recognized our drive letter. You have the option to select from a database which has firmwares already loaded into Tools Talk Service 2. Or if someone has given you firmware to load, you can select local file and browse to that firmware. For this instance, we'll use the database. Select from the drop down the tool model. Ours is a TBP. And the firmware versions. Already installed is 1.2.3, so we will be selecting 1.3.0 and hit copy. That's a very quick process, as you can see it's already completed. It's a very good idea and I always recommend it before you eject the SD card, come down to the safely remove hardware button in Windows and eject the card. Now you're able to remove it from your computer and reinsert it into the tool. Making sure that it clicks all the way inserted. And now we can reinsert the USB port, reattach the battery, and now this time when we connect, it's going to copy that firmware from that SD card onto the tool. This process takes about 10 to 15 minutes, so please, please be patient. Towards the end of the updating process, you'll be prompted with this message. It's just a warning that you are loading default parameters into the tool. Select yes. And the update process will continue. We can select OK. It's going to reread the tool's new information. Now, towards the end of the update process, you'll be prompted with this message. Don't be alarmed, it's just letting you know that you are writing the default parameters to the tool. Go ahead and select Yes. And an update process will continue. And once it's complete, you can select OK. And Tools Talk Service 2 will reinitiate the connection with the tool and read it. And now we can see our new firmware is 1.3.0. And 
that's all there is to updating the tool. You can now disconnect from Tools Talk Service, disconnect the USB from the tool, remove the battery, and the tool is now ready to be paired with the PowerFocus controller.